Good morning. Hi. How are you? I am. Um, I went to style my hair today, and I noticed that it is a uh, in desperate need of a cut. I have lost all shape, all definition. You can see really. Let's put this down. You can see around the ears, especially that it's just so overgrown. So I have one book to cut. I'm going to go in on Saturday, but we are not quite there yet. So I thought. I'm gonna actually show you what I do with my hair when it needs a cut. There is actually different things. When I've just had a cut, I like to really work with how neat it looks. So I like to have these really sort of regimented hairstyles and really work with all the sort of outlines and just kind of draw attention into that. But when it needs to be cut, this is what I do. So I have my hair cut like every three weeks. Sometimes I can actually push it to four. When I used to have that, that fade, uh, it really needs to be cut every two weeks. But you guys can let me know in the comments below how often you get your hair cut. I know a lot of guys get two weeks, some get three, some get six, but let me know. Also, if you like these sort of videos where I chat and I do products, make sure you like this right now. Okay, hair's been washed, it's been towel dried. I first start with the pre-styling stage. So this is where we start to add a little bit of body to the hair. We start to kind of prep it and get it into some mode of being styled. A few things I do here. One, I will get something to kind of smooth the hair. I've got various products here. I've got a primal primer by Bumble and Bumble. I love this. I also use some thickening products. Nioxin thickening gel is great. Anti-gravity by Kevin Murphy to really get volume and lift it up away from the head. Or the one I'm going to use today, which is the Bumble and Bumble Thickening. Now this has quite an impressive name. Great body blow dry cream. Now I'm using this because, as I was saying there, when the, when the hair has been cut and it looks great, I want to work with that cut. But when it needs to be cut, I want to add volume and I want to make it look like it's supposed to be messy and that it's more sort of styled. So a little bit of this into damp hair. This really is a very creamy product that will be activated by the hair dryer. Oh, that's all over me. Let's take that off there. If you are looking for pre-styling products, head to manfromself.com. We've got stuff for volume, we've got stuff for texture, all there with all the best prices. Products like this almost like inflate the hair. And you'll find that this will get give you sort of even more longevity in your hairstyle. And if you're a guy with fine or thinning hair, this also will help. All the way through. Now I'm gonna grab a hair dryer and this will activate the product. I'm just gonna really just use my hands. You can use a, a comb, a brush, really towards the end of the drying process, but I just like using my hand. That is the greatest tool we have. Medium heat, fast speed, blast it, move through. Okay, and when it's starting to feel like it's got that volume, I mean, you can see there it's got the volume, I'm gonna stop. The hair's not yet dry, it is a PC, it's in strands, and that's because it's still kind of wet. This is where I'm gonna add in loads of texture. The products I've used here are more about smoothing, they're about plumping, they're about building that volume. But the next ones here are gonna be for that texture. I'm quite often combining pre stylers at the moment, so I'm taking a primer tonic and a sea salt spray, or I'm taking a texture spray and kind of just creating my own sort of cocktail. But I'm gonna use a sea salt spray. Now you can go for something as budget and as easily found as the Tony and Guy sea salt spray. Great product, really quite cheap. You can go for something a little bit more uh, sort of independent. This one's by Murdoch. They're a barbershop. You'll actually remember them from the London guide that I did. If you've not seen that, I will link that in the cards up there, really looking at some of the best barbershops in London. They create their own products and I love this. Or I'm gonna use the Evil, oh, I'm gonna trash the place and use Evil. This is Salty Dog. Just a couple of spritzes of this. And although the volume would keep the hair looking messy and volumized, this is just gonna give even more movement and definition to really start to mask the fact that I need a cut. And this is all smoke and mirrors in this, guys, and these products really will help to do that. Blast again, medium heat, fast speed, work. Okay, loads and loads of texture. Sometimes you'll find that when using sea salt spray, it can sometimes look a bit piecey and almost like a little bit greasy. What I would do is just continue to dry it and work that through your hands to smooth. 
Okay, and I'm gonna finish on a cool blast of air to seal the cuticle, get it ready for styling. So just that cool shot button or quite literally take the temperature down on your hairdryer. And that really is a tip there in the way that I'm doing that. By shaking the hair as you do it, you're gonna to help to sort of break it up and give all that texture and body. If you're gonna to start to smooth it, you're gonna set the hair like that. So just anything. Okay, huge hair, loads of volume, starting to mask my, uh, my messy hair at the moment. Right next, we're gonna do some styling and this is really where we're gonna, again, mask the sides, make it look like it's styled rather than needing cut. I would really say to use a clay product in this. Don't use anything with a high gloss or a shine. High gloss and shine is really gonna draw attention into that hair. Also, anything too smooth is gonna keep the hair too regimented. You're then gonna see the bits that just are overhanging. By using a clay, again, you're gonna add texture. You're also gonna add a bit of body. And something matte is just gonna give it more of that sort of livable, everyday look. Right, I have a few products here that I love. Rough Rider by Kevin Murphy. I talk a lot about Kevin Murphy actually on this channel and um, I just think they're a great brand. This one was in a brand battle recently from this new season of brand battle. If you've not seen any of those, I'm gonna link them right up there, really taking two products and kind of seeing which one's the best in a battle. I also am loving the new one by American Crew. They've got a new matte clay. This is on manfromself.com. There's a full review there, also the best prices, so you can check those out. But I am gonna use a product that I've been using, get this product off me, a product that I've been using a lot, but I actually haven't spoken about yet on this channel. So if you want a full review of this, you can let me know, but this is Moroccan oil texture clay. I like this because I think it's very true to what it says. I think it adds loads of texture. So quite some, some products say they add texture, some say they do whatever it is, but they don't. This really is very good. So just gonna scoop out, not a huge amount, about that into the hands, emulsify, so really warming it up. Also, if you guys have any other sort of techniques of styling, or if you've got some top tips for stuff like this, share them. Let us know in the comments, and we can all see if we do sort of similar things. Okay, emulsified, which basically means you've kind of got the product into a state to be applied. And I'm just gonna brush away. And actually, you could leave it like that. The old me would have done this, cartoon character hairstyling, but uh, it's maybe a, a, little, a little too big for me. I'm gonna take a tiny bit more product. It's always good to layer. Don't go in with all that product at once. Your hair is gonna get heavy, it's gonna get saturated, it's gonna drop, it's gonna look greasy. It's gonna look just a bit crap. So a bit more of this. Again, warm up. Brush the other way. Picking up, I'm gonna keep the part there, but I'm not gonna keep it too neat. Because again, we're gonna see the mess. I'm gonna smooth just ever so slightly, but I wanna work with that texture that we've put in from the sea salt spray. So I'm just gonna lift and pick. And again, that's just gonna mask the fact that I need a haircut. I'm gonna keep these bits all pulling out and for the sides, that's the real telltale that you need the haircut. I'm gonna take a little bit more product, less, about half of what we use for the top. And I'm gonna take the heels of the hand, right there and there, I'm gonna shake, and that's gonna break them up just ever so slightly. It's gonna give it more volume in the sides, and it's gonna work with that body and texture. And you can go as messy as you like. Having it too close to the head, I'm gonna show you. Having it too close to the head, you're gonna get bits that stick out. You can see I've got a weight line there. That means we've got too much heaviness, but breaking that up, it's just gonna pull it away ever so slightly and look like I've gone for a more sort of messy look. Okay, and you could leave it like that. You can take a little bit more of that sort of excess product from your fingers, work in, really just moving that texture. So keeping it looking thick and full, but just ensuring that the hair is not sitting too close to each other. Or you might actually want to take a powder. Now we really are starting to layer product in, but I like powders because powder will keep it looking matte, powder will add volume, 
powder will be malleable through the day. Whereas a hairspray, like my favorite one here, will keep the hair really sort of regimented and solid, which is what I would normally do. But let's use some powder. We have got uh, Slick Gorilla. I did a review of this one. Um, this one is, they say it's nothing slick. It's actually quite sticky, but it really pushes your hair. Quite an impressive powder. Resurrection Style Dust by Label M is great, especially if you've got darker hair. Another one, Kevin Murphy Powder Puff. This just really is a fantastic product. And I'm just gonna get it into the hair there. You don't wanna use too much powder because you're gonna get it right onto the scalp and it can, using too much of this is a bit like a dry shampoo that could clog your follicle. I mean, that's in extreme cases, but we just wanna work a little bit in here. Combining all these products, the body from the start, the texture from the sea salt sprays, the matte and the texture from the clay, and then this powder is just making the hair look huge. And again, working with that fullness that you'd quite often want to cover. And if your sideburns are just looking a bit messy, if anything, pull it forward, rather than trying to disguise it by pulling it back, take it forward. And then with the back here, I mean, this does require a haircut. There's actually not much you can do with it, but you could just use a little bit of product and you can smooth just at the bottom. I would avoid doing a DIY cut at home because it's very hard to get into the back. I have done it. It's been successful sometimes, and sometimes it's not been successful. Just like this. Just pull it out a bit. Then just round the neck, round the nape here. Just pull, just do as I do. Wear a polo neck or a shirt to cover. And that is it. There we go. Adding loads of volume and texture into your hair just to mask the fact that you definitely need a haircut. The products you've seen here plus more will be on manfromself.com so you can check all of those out. Also more tips and tricks. If you like this sort of thing, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then you're gonna press subscribe right now. The button will be just there, right there. Also, more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Head to the products pages there. We've got the brand battles up there, plus my Instagram up there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.